Today we take you to look at ASX listed stock, Brookside Energy, ticker BRK, performing some technical analysis and making some predictions on where we can expect to see BRK go in the near future. Let's get into it. How's it going guys, Ryan here and welcome back to another ASX stock analysis video. Today we're taking a look at Brookside Energy, ticker BRK and they are an oil and gas company. Not only are they an explorer, but they are also currently in production. And their mining operation, I suppose you call it, or drilling operation is based out of Oklahoma. And their, I suppose, strategy, you could put it, is trying to acquire gradually really good projects, really good acquisitions, drilling them out, and then bringing them online slowly. Right now, the oil price is the highest that it's been in a decade, and they're trying to take advantage of that by having three of these wells online by the middle of this year. They've currently got one producing. There's another that is currently waiting on, I suppose, completion. And the third, which they're only just drilling out at the moment, but they're really trying to make acquisitions that are beneficial for their shareholders and do it in a very cost-effective way manner at this point in time if they need to drill a single well it's costing them basically 10 million dollars per well so they're going on that sort of a basis and they are gradually i suppose building up over time using the cash flow from previous operations in order to do so so be sure to check out this company if it does pique your interest oil is obviously a very hot topic at the moment with everything going on in the world so BRK, maybe it is the company for you to invest in. But today, simply all we are doing is performing some technical analysis and making some predictions on where we can expect to see Brookside Energy go in the near future. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. Welcome into the BRK chart, guys. As you can see, the current share price of BRK is sitting at 2.3 cents. And as we zoom out, you can see this has been a stock which for you know the past few years has been relatively stable up until 2021 where we start to see a bit of movement until that point we were moving sideways for literally a number of years but now there's a bit of action happening and the patterns that are currently going on are quite exciting so obviously the initial i suppose nice little peak did occur and on the 2nd of august in 2021 it hit its all-time high, which was at 4.1 cents. And since then, it has obviously come down. The lowest it's came down to was on the 22nd of February, 2022. And that low was at one and a half cents. But as you can clearly see, it has bounced a little bit from there. So let's start putting some nice little trends into play and see if we can really work out what is going on. Now, first and foremost, I think it's clear that from this point over here on the 2nd of August, we've been in a bit of a downtrend. So let's see if we can establish that trend itself. And I think the easiest way to do this is probably gonna be maybe taking a point roughly over here to start off with and seeing if we can establish that. This is, I suppose, a bit of a hard one to do just because, you know, there's a lot of different touch points that we could be using. But I think this is probably the most realistic viewpoint we could take. And that is, basically showing us that we broke out of this downtrend over here. And that was on the 4th of January. You can see a nice little pump up, a big green candle there supporting the breakout and a nice move upwards. But we did continue moving in a downwards direction after I suppose the price cooled off a bit. So we're gonna extend that line out. There you go, you can see it there. And that low we had of one and a half cents, what you can see is that was actually a bounce point for us it was a retest of that original downtrend and we bounced off it, which is a positive sign. From there, where have we started to go? Well, it looks like we are now moving in the right direction. We can see, unfortunately, we had that 20 day uh, moving average cross below the 50 day, but it is now sharply moving in an upwards direction. Right now, the share price is currently blocked by the 200 day moving average, which is sitting smack bang on 2.4 cents. So that is really acting as a big resistance point for us. Now I think it is fair to say that 2.4 cents, just given the price action there and historically, 
is a major point of horizontal support. So we're gonna put in place a line at 2.4 cents there. You can see it's acted previously as a major, major point of resistance and of course support as well in the past. So that is really the point we need to get to in order to start moving in a bit more of an upwards direction. Now, looking at our support points, where are we currently sitting? Well, I think if you look over here where we've just bounced off today, we're sitting at about 2.1 for our support point. So we're gonna bring that one down there. That's our first initial support point. I'm gonna leave it there at the moment, given we're looking relatively bullish at this point in time. I'm thinking that that is a good spot to start from. Now, I could put in a potential flag pattern here, but given that we've got this top end, I'm not sure it would fit as well as we want it to. So I'm really gonna just leave that there and we're gonna be using the horizontal resistance and support points as our guide for today's video. Let's move on to something else, volume. Looking at the volume, it has absolutely blown up. And you can see quite clearly that the momentum is in the buying direction. Of course, we did shoot up quite a bit, so a little bit of consolidation and sell-off is absolutely something that we do want to see. We want to see the consolidation. We can't just see it go parabolic, well, if I can spit it out, parabolically upwards. The hockey stick effect is not a good thing to do. What goes up must come down. Keep that in the back of your head. And of course, you're gonna have people taking profits as you would expect. So all in all, as long as we stay above this 2.1 cent mark, we are looking relatively good at this point in time. Now, just having, I suppose, moving into the next section, it's a good segue. Look in the RSI, as you can imagine, the RSI was sitting at 35.49 over the past few days where we did see that big pump up to the recent high. It got all the way up to 69.83, which is just shy of the overbought section, but it has now cooled off, as we said. It is now currently sitting at 60.08. There is room for it to now continue moving upwards if it would want to. Likely if it was a spike as we saw previously, especially with that sort of volume, we would go into that overbought range, but just keep that in mind when you're watching it. Now, we could also keep trending sideways. I think that is still a realistic probability, just given the sheer amount of price action that has occurred at this point in the past. We might be consolidating now for, I don't know, a week, maybe two weeks worth of trading days. That is highly possible. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. It will give time for the RSI to cool off a bit more and it will give a better base for a movement upwards. Let's have a look at another indicator, MACD. Bringing that one up now, what we're seeing on the MACD is, of course, where the cross was of the 12-day EMA above the 26-day EMA. That was the catalyst for the big pump up that we did see. So no surprises there from a technical analysis point of view. It is now moving sideways from a 12 day EMA perspective. That 26 day EMA is coming up to catch up to it. Looks like we have peaked out, but I wouldn't be surprised if we saw something like we have done in the past where you get a peak and then it cools off a bit before we continue back in that same direction. So. If I were, I suppose, a bit of a betting man, I'd suggest that it is likely that this same sort of pattern will occur. Patterns tend to repeat themselves, and that's something you've got to keep in mind when you are looking at charts. Look for those patterns, they will tend to repeat themselves. So if we were to break out, where would we break out to, or where would we set our target? Well, I think the first target's very, very clear. This high we've seen over here, which was on the 9th of March, that high of 2.7 cents. That is the immediate target because that is basically where we got to on our last little run that we did see there. So that's, I suppose, looking relatively nice because it's quite even gaps between our support points and our resistance points and our targets. So that is a really, really nice looking chart. What we do wanna see, of course, is that breakthrough of that 2.4 cent mark we need to see that volume coming in to support it i think we will see it potentially over the coming days and the reason i say that is because we've had now the bounce off the 2.1 cent mark it's clear that this point of support 
has rejected, you know, the price falling through it and it's going to start coming upwards. If we see that 12 day EMA cross, sorry, not 12 day EMA, 20 day moving average cross above the 50 day moving average as well, that will be another buy signal for traders. The one thing that is, in my opinion, going to be hard to get through is the 200 day moving average. That is the long term moving average. So getting above that point can sometimes be a bit of a struggle. And given the sheer amount of price action that has occurred here, I would not be too surprised. Based on all the information we've seen today, where do I think we are going? Well, I think we are now on a bit of an upwards trajectory. We have broken out of this downtrend that we have seen here, and that was towards the start of January. We've managed to bounce off that downtrend over here on the 22nd of February, and we then broke out above key points of resistance. And we got up to a value of 2.7 cents. So I think it is reasonable to say that within, I suppose, the next few trading weeks, certainly a target of 2.7 cents for a short term price prediction is absolutely feasible, pending that obviously we can break this point of resistance convincingly and actually manage to close above it as well. That is the crucial element here. We want to see a bit of a breakthrough and a close above this point and then a movement upwards towards that 2.7 cent mark. That wraps up today's analysis on Brookside Energy, guys. I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments section below. Of course, if you did enjoy today's video as well, make sure you do leave a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of this sort of content, hit that subscribe button and turn on bell notifications. I'll leave it there for today, guys. I hope you have an awesome day. I'll see you next time. Cheers.